Let's go ahead and hop into the details on the RTX 3050 and the eight gigabytes card with more efficient GA107 GPU to feature a 115 watt TBP. And this is coming from WCCF Tech. All right, so NVIDIA's recently launched GeForce RTX 3050 eight gigabyte graphics card will soon come in two GPU variants, one featuring a more efficient design. Currently, the NVIDIA RTX 3050 eight gigabyte graphics card features the Ampere GA106 GPU core. The GA106 150 SKU features a very cut down variant of the full GA106 chip and packs 2,560 cores and an eight gigabyte memory running across a 128 bit bus interface. Now the latest reports from Igor's lab talks about a new variant of the card coming soon that will feature the GA107 GPU as was rumored back a few months ago. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card with the GA106 and GA107 GPU configuration will retain the same specifications as the current models and AIBs will have no trouble migrating to the brand new chip as both the GA107 and GA106 GPUs are pin compatible so new PCBs uh, will be so no new PCBs will be required However, while the specification remain the same, there's one fundamental change that can be expected in the new model. And it is stated that the GeForce RTX 3050, particularly the 107 variant, will feature a TBP of 115 watts compared to the 130 watts of the GA106 variant. This is possible thanks to a more efficient architecture design of the GA107 GPU, which is mainly aimed at mobility segment and coming to desktop segment soon. So really the big note about this is you're getting 15 watts less or 15 watts more efficient. Still that light hash rate unlock, we just tested it again this weekend on the latest release from G minor because they had done a specific unlock for the RTX 3050 and you're really only getting 15 mega hash a second even if you get that 15 watt reduction in power consumption it still doesn't look that great because i believe it's 97 watts right now and if you took that 15 watts off you know you're 82 watts at 15 mega hash a second ugh, ugh, i just don't think it's worth it but hopefully we'll see further and further unlocks right now the highest unlock available for the 3050 is 58%, which is still quite a bit under what we get out of a lot of other GPUs in the light hash rate range. So it can improve. There is potential there. You do have the other algos. We've talked about them in the review video. I don't know. It's not enough to really make up for it. Hopefully, you know, with the reduction of the power consumption, the GA107 is definitely more enticing from a mining perspective than the GA106 because, you know, for the most part, most algorithms don't care that much about core. I do assume there should be probably a performance decrease in core specific algorithms, but that's hard to tell exactly. It doesn't say that there would be just that the benefit at this point is that they're reducing the amount of, or reducing the amount of power being used, at least right now. That's all we can really confirm. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.